A four-year-old Fort Collins girl by the name of Abigail is so tired of the elections. In fact, watch her video where she talks about it. Um, just because I'm tired, I'm tired of Barack Obama and Mitt Romney. That's why you're crying? Oh, it'll be over soon, Abby. Okay? The election will be over soon, okay? Okay. Oh. That's the way I feel when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> How red was her face? She was so disappointed and upset. She's talking to her mother there, uh, Elizabeth Evans, and they had just heard on NPR more about the election, and that apparently really bummed Abigail out. And she was tired of Bronco Obama, which, by the way, sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> If his real name was Bronco Obama, I think he would have been elected even sooner. <laughs> so, uh, now, look, there's this great symbolism that a lot of us feel the same way about the election. Even us here at the Young Tours, we enjoy the election, et cetera, but, you know, there's a feeling, you know, we out, that like, God, we're inundated, right? Yeah. And especially if you live in a swing state, and they live in Colorado, all of the ads over and over, Bronco Obama did this, and then Bronco Obama did that. That's true. Okay, so a lot of us are like, <laughs> make it stop, right? So we feel her pain, and in some ways she represents a lot of the country. Now having said that, why is she actually crying? Come on, she wanted to watch the cartoons or listen to a... Really? Oh, come on! Of course! Oh, course. <laughs> so she's like, make this stupid politics thing stop. I just want to... Go back to Elmo for a second. That's kind of how I, I remember feeling that way about the O.J. Simpson trial because I was at that age where I wanted to watch the cartoons and you know fun TV. It's, the Simpsons was my you know that was my favorite show when I was younger. And all you would see 24 hours a day was uh, coverage on the O.J. Simpson trial. <laughs> now uh, you know you were the you were the Abigail Evans of your time. I wasn't I <laughs> wasn't I. Um, uh, and uh, by the way, NPR host Mark Memmott mm -hmm. apologized to her. <laughs> oh. Said, uh, here, let me quote, on behalf of NPR and all other news outlets, we apologize to Abigail and all the many others who probably feel like her. We must confess the campaign's gone on long enough for us too. So, a fun little apology, Cute. fun for everybody. All Definitely. right, Abigail, we're on your side.